Anything else about this foundation and the charities that he's been connected with or says he's been connected to that we should know? Well, there's a couple things. Um, we found a couple of instances, more than a couple, where he seemed to have violated the laws governing the way you're supposed to use your charity. So one of the things that, you're, that the U.S. law says is you can't use the money in your charity to buy things for yourself or to do things that benefit your business. And we found a couple of occasions where he seemed to have violated that. He used money in the charity to buy giant portraits of himself, including one that wound up hanging on the wall of a, of a sports bar and a resort that Trump owns. He also used money in the charity to settle lawsuits that involved his for-profit businesses. That is, his businesses got sued, and then to settle the lawsuit, his business said, okay, his golf course said, okay, we're going to donate money to charity. And instead of donating, instead of the golf course, which was the party of the lawsuit, get donating its money, Trump would use his charity to come in and pay the fine instead. The result is that Trump's charity basically saves his business money. That's one thing. Uh, we also found... Uh, evidence that he had uh, given a, one of the other things you're not allowed to do with your with your charity is give political donations and we it turned out that he'd given a $25,000 political donation out of his charity uh, to help the Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi who was at, at that point her office was considering whether or not to join a lawsuit against Trump University right about that time Trump uses his charity's money to give $25,000 to her um, to Pam Bondi's political group and then later in the filings with the IRS the Trump Foundation actually had the effect of covering that up it listed that that illegal donation is having been a donation to a different group in a different place.